What's going on everybody? Buzz here and I'm back with some more Outriders information for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to get the exact legendary you want. That's right, there is now a method for pre-screening the legendaries you're going to be receiving as loot rewards and then deciding if you want to go ahead and take it or just re-roll the RNG wheel again and see what the next spin will be. Also, I wanted to show you a little tip so you can perfectly recalibrate your gear to exactly what you want for your build in a fraction of the time it would normally take just farming using the normal methods. But before we begin today's video, and I may sound like a broken record here, but the response I have been receiving for these Outriders uploads has been overwhelming. And I owe it all to you, the viewers, for all the love and support. And just in case you haven't yet smashed that sub button for more intensive Outriders content, please do so. And don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another upload from my YouTube channel. All right, we've got a lot of detailed information to cover, and I know that your time is valuable, so let's just dive right in. First topic is how we are going to go about pre-screening our legendary rewards before accepting them, and this method is a game changer because legendary drops are rare, and then on top of that, you've got this whole layer of RNG determining what the piece is, what the attributes are, and even the mods. Well, thanks to another YouTube content creator, Laserbolt, who produces high quality content, and I will leave a link in my video description, and I highly recommend you go give him a look because he is pounding out some serious Outriders content. Anyways, thanks to the efforts of Laserbolt, we now have a method to look over the legendaries and then decide if we want to go ahead and keep them or just pass, in which case we will get to choose again and again until we finally accept the legendary we want. Let me show you how to do this, and it starts off with the Monster Hunt quest line from the barkeep Noah Dembele in Trenchtown. Now go ahead and start up the new hunt and take out the 10 targets like any other time we are farming these monsters. Now I decided to end my hunt with Panage, and I took on my old foe, Wendingo. Wait a sec, did he just say Wendingo? <laughs> Now you want to turn the monster trophies in with Noah, and here is a huge tip for anyone wanting to try this out. Empty your character's backpack inventories before turning in the trophies. I personally messed this up the first time and went ahead and turned them all in, not realizing my backpack was full. So when the legendary was about to be presented so I could pre-screen it, I could not see it because it was heading directly from my stash instead of my backpack. So heed my warning, empty your backpack and then engage with Noah and turn in all the trophies. Now once you have given him the 10th and final monster trophy, you will be in this dialogue menu and the last thing you want to do is select, I'm just going to come back later, because this will kill all your hard work up to this point. Instead select, what are you selling? And it will show you what Noah has for sale. Now at the top of your screens, you want to select sell as if we're going to sell something to Noah. And what will happen now is that it will show you the potential legendary you're about to receive in your inventories so you can inspect it prior to accepting or passing on it. I wasn't overly concerned with the gear score itself because that can always be fixed by leveling up the item, but what I was looking for was a few very rare pieces and of course those desirable tier three mods. Since I didn't want his initial offering, I hit Alt F4 and hard close the game. Now since we didn't ever leave his dialogue menu, the game has not saved past this point. So by hard closing and rebooting the game, I was back in Trenchtown with all my 10 monster trophies to turn in and I could again engage with Noah, go through the turning in of the 10 trophies, asking him what he has for sale, and then offering to sell him my gear to again inspect that legendary drop. And just so you know, this only works for gear pieces if you choose to turn in the monster trophies with Noah, and you can do this solo. If you're wanting to try this method for weaponry, it's pretty much the same list of instructions you need to follow, but you will need a squad mate to tag along with you. And remember that Noah does not reward you with weaponry, so you will need to instead accept the bounty hunt contracts with Uchio located in the small room just feet away from Noah and the bar. Now once you have all 10 bounties completed, return to Uchio and have your partner join you. Turn in all 10 bounties and before you leave Uchio's dialogue menu, the loot will appear on your partner screen in text form, much like you see when you're finishing up an expedition in a squad format. Your partner can tell you what legendary you're about to receive and then you can decide to accept it, which will only require you exit Uchio's dialogue menu, or you can hard close the game on PC again, that's Alt F4, reboot, 
join your partner and again speak with Uchio to see what he offers you up this time. Now, once again, I have tested both and can confirm they both work and many thanks to Laserbolt for figuring out all of this. Okay, the final topic I wanted to show you today is a really easy, effective, and efficient way to recalibrate your gear so you can get exactly what you want in terms of mods without the frequent misfires where you go to improve the rarity only to get a mod you don't want and then end up scrapping the piece in frustration. Now, I've been messing around with this method for about a week and a half, but I wanted to make sure I had all the steps correct before posting this video, and so here you go. As I farm, I pay close attention to the attributes and the rarity, as I have a very specific set of attributes that I wanted for both my DPS builds and another set for my anomaly power builds. Now, for instance, my DPS build, like my Techno Toxic build, I was only wanting bonus firepower, short range damage, and long range damage. And as I sorted through the gear I looted, those were the only requirements I had to meet. Remember that you cannot change or recalibrate those attributes, so you are stuck with whatever that piece has on it as you begin your optimizations. Next, I wanted to make sure I was only working with common or rare gear, because with common gear, they don't yet have a mod, and with rare gear, they will feature only a single mod, and it is a class-specific one at that, so I can easily change that for a Tier 3 mod down the line. Now, once I had found the gear with the right attributes and the right rarity, it is time to hit Dr. Zahidi, or at least that is what you would normally do. There is one very crucial step you need to perform prior to seeing Zahidi, and it involves you forcing the game to save your game file. Now, normally, Outriders will auto save every few minutes on its own, or when you have fast traveled or have made a purchase. I like to perform the sequence in Trenchtown because there are vendors right next to your base camp. So before you see Dr. Zahidi, go see Ruff Pavlo, the gear vendor, and make a purchase. Really any purchase will do. And then exit his shop, and you will see the game perform a save because you will see the save icon appear in the bottom right hand portion of your screen. Now we know that the game has been saved up to this point, so if things don't go the way we want with Zahidi and our optimizations, we can always return exactly to this point in the game. Now it works kind of like your Monster Hunt sequence. Choose the piece you want to improve the rarity, see what three mods the game offers you for that improvement, and then make your decision. Now since four of my five build pieces were exactly dialed in, I needed one very specific mod to appear in the mod slot 2 for my lower torso body armor. Since I didn't see that mod appear the first time, I tapped out Alt F4, hard closed the game, rebooted and continued the game, and it lands me right back in Trenchtown, and I can just go right back to Sahiti and try again. And a quick note here, you don't need to purchase a new item with Rough Pavlo each time you reboot, as the game file still has that original save. Now, now after a few attempts with Zahidi, not getting what I desperately needed, rebooting and trying again, I was able to get the exact tier 2 mod I was needing for my build in the correct mod slot, and will now leave mod slot 1 open for a tier 3 mod which I can add when the need arises. Okay, so there you go, a method to pre-screen your potential legendary rewards before accepting them or trying again, and a super easy method for optimizing your gear to exactly what you need or want for your builds in a fraction of the time that it would take you to normally farm that exact piece. Just a reminder to please hit that sub button for more intensive Outriders content and ring the bell to receive those upload notifications. If you would be so kind as to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to find me on Twitch, join my community Discord server, and of course, follow me on Twitter, posting on most things gaming related. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.